2 Corinthians 12, New International Version. I must go on boasting, although there is nothing to be gained, I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. I know a man in Christ who, 14 years ago, was caught up to the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, but God knows, was caught up to paradise and heard inexpressible things, things that no one is permitted to tell. I will boast about a man like that, but I will not boast about myself except about my weaknesses. Even if I should choose to boast, I would not be a fool because I would be speaking the truth. But I refrain so no one will think more of me than is warranted by what I do or say, or because of these surpassing great revelations. Therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I have made a fool of myself, but you drove me to it. I ought to have been commended by you, for I am not in the least inferior to the super apostles, even though I am nothing. I persevered in demonstrating among you the marks of a true apostle, including signs, wonders and miracles. How were you inferior to the other churches except that I was never a burden to you? Forgive me this wrong. Now I am ready to visit you for the third time and I will not be a burden to you because I want because what I want is not your possessions but you. After all, children should not have to save up for their parents but parents for their children. So I will very gladly spend for you everything I have and expend myself as well. If I love you more, will you love me less? Be that as it may. I have not been a burden to you, yet crafty fellow that I am, I am caught I caught you by trickery. Did I exploit you through any of the men I sent to you? I urged Titus to go to you and I sent our brother with him. Titus did not exploit you, did he? Did we not walk in the same footsteps by the same spirit? Have you been thinking all along that we have been defending ourselves to you? We have been speaking in the sight of God as those in Christ and everything we do, dear friends, is for your strengthening. For I am afraid that when I come, I may not find you as I want you to be and you may not find me as you want me to be. I fear that there may be discord jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, slander, gossip, arrogance and discord. I am afraid that when I come again, my God will humble me before you and I will be grieved over many who have sinned earlier and have not repented of the impurity, sexual sin and debauchery in which they have indulged. Bless you.